BitBoy Crypto Morning Tea. Good morning, everybody. It's August 26, 2021. My name's Piano Matty B. That's Scaramucci's. And this is your Morning TA. A brief glimpse into the crypto markets where the sun's shining, where the wind's blowing, all the humble opinion of this piano. Zamboni, bring in the data. The FOMO index has ticked up to 75 from yesterday's 73. In nosy miss Newsbomb social media market sentiment and a rent control department in Queens was at 89%. Which means every time people talk about Bitcoin, it has an 89% positivity rate. And Bitcoin dominance is slightly up to 43.33%, as is the 24-hour volume at 81.5 billion. And the overall market cap has dipped ever so slightly, down to 2.03 trillion, give or take a couple hundred million. Over on the daily, we've walked into price action cuddling with its squatter, the 20 moving average at 46.7. Now we talked about this, so it shouldn't be a big shock. This is what historical norm bet a nickel to a donut that we'd see. And I still don't know what a nickel to a donut means, but he also said that there's a high probability of Bitcoin reaching out to our old flame, the 200 moving average as well. Are we going to be shocked when we see this? Nah. <laughs> I mean, there's advice, then there's old man advice. And although old man advice is never delivered nice or with, say, nuanced fragility, it always gives me pause and makes me think, well, if he's saying that, then maybe there's higher probability than, say, the 20-year-old kid that used to be a YouTube gamer up until six months ago. And if you're saying, Piano Matty B, are you happy you're finally getting your healthy pullback you've been talking about for what seems like eternity? <laughs> yes and no, obviously I'd like to see, like everyone else, an old-fashioned moonshot to 160K. Who wouldn't? But there's nothing wrong with a pullback along the way. After all, a higher highs and higher lows are how we continue bullish momentum. Now, if price action were to break the 200 moving average and test the 50% Fib level at 44K, that would start to look like a lower low. And I wouldn't like to see that. I wouldn't panic or worry. I just wouldn't like to see that. It would be like going to see your favorite band, you know, the Dippin' Pumps. Back when bands actually played live, yeah, they played live. <laughs> and the singer just wasn't having a good night. Not hitting those marquee high notes that you've been waiting for. You still like the band, of course, but it would leave a rather bad taste in your mouth moving forward. And every time someone brought up the Dippin' Pumps in conversation, you'd have to interject and say, I saw them live in the singer. He just wasn't that great. And now you're that guy that says those things. Now there's some sunshine on this bearish pullback. And it comes in the form of low volume. So take a look at the candle and take a look at the volume. When you see a move like this with low volume like that, it tells us there isn't a lot of people at the concert. <laughs> and the band probably won't be getting an encore. However, over on the weekly, we see what kind of looks like, and I say kind of because I don't want it to look like. A bearish engulfing candle. And one might argue that it's open is just a smidge lower than the previous. Close. Other than that, it walks and it looks like a bearish engulfing duck, which is historically suggests a reversal in price trend. But I'd bet a nickel to a donut, even though I don't know what that means, that this bullish MACD won't let this happen. And again, look at the volume of this red candle, it's swing. It's embarrassing, really. But then let's talk about the old wise tale elephant in the room. 
And yes, say it with me. That which once wicked will get candles sticked. And where does this wick find us? That's right, down at the 50% fib level of 44. And we talked about this being the lower low we didn't want to see. And now this is all technical analysis housekeeping. These are what the gauges in the data say. And we all know when it comes to Bitcoin, all the data in the world doesn't mean anything when the whales jump in. Is that the phone? It's my landline. It's historical norm. Let me get this. <laughs> Hi, Norm. Hey, fancy fingers. It's historical yeah. norm here. What can I do you for? That's dad talk. Hey, fancy fingers. Remember, remember, bearish September. Okay. Remember September what? Norm? He, he hung up on me. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at September's. September 2020, red candle, bearish month. September 2019, red candle, bearish month. September 2018, red candle, bearish month. 2017, bull run, green candle. So remember, remember, bearish September. Three out of the four past Septembers have been bearish. Except if you're in a bull run. And guess what we're in, my friends? That's right. A bull run. So speaking of remembering, we're playing the same game as our psychopathic elected lead. That's right, it's the long game. So zoom out and have a fantastic day.